What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And got some breaking news for you. I'm going to put it up here. I just saw this over at Mopar Insiders. This is some breaking news. Um, I talked about this previously that the UAW was doing a phone call and that they could possibly um, end up striking. And people are like in the con, no, it won't happen. They're not going to do it. Well, as you can see here, UAW considers strike vote against Stellantis over contract dispute. United Auto Workers Union, led by President Sean Fain, announced plans to hold a strike authorization vote against Stellantis due to the automaker allegedly failing to uphold certain promises made in the UAW collective bargaining agreement done in 2023. The announcement comes just months after the conclusion of a six-week strike that secured new agreements with Stellantis, General Motors, and Ford. During a live stream speech on Tuesday evening, Fain emphasized the union's readiness to take action if necessary, stating we are 100% within our rights and within our power to, to take strike action if necessary. He added that the union would be holding strike authorization votes at one or more Stellantis locals, and we will stand united to enforce our contract and save American jobs. Strike authorization votes are common when a union is approaching the end of a contract and is beginning negotiations for a new one. However, in this case, the UAW is looking to strike mid-contract due to what Fain describes as Stellantis's failure to live up to the commitments made in 2023 in that agreement. The 2023 deal allowed the union to strike during the contract period if there were violations related to job projections, such as plant closings. This marks a significant shift from past agreements where the UAW typically agreed not to strike during the life of a contract. Fain's comments suggest that the Stellantis has not fulfilled promises regarding job security and other key issues, although the specific violations were not detailed. Well, uh, Stellantis did uh, offer a response already. Uh, they have, well, they haven't done an official response to Fain's statement. However, when asked earlier in the week about unrelated uh, unfair labor practices, the company said it had not violated any of those commitments made in 2023. I don't know how this is going to go or how this could uh, possibly end, but it doesn't look good. Um, as they said, you know, the UAW has been pretty consistent about not striking during uh, an active contract. So, We'll see what happens, uh, but it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, it's shocking me now that all of the sudden Sean Fain is getting off of his ass and actually doing something. You know, the workers have been getting screwed over and over and over again. And, and I, I'm going to reiterate this and say this again because everybody thinks I'm some pro UAW guy. I'm not. I don't care about the union one way or the other. Not my business. I'm, I don't belong to one, but I also don't like to see people get screwed. So what does this mean? Uh, does it mean that strikes are coming down the line here at Stellantis? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe it's enough of a threat that the board at Stellantis kind of tells Carlos Tavaro to pick his fight elsewhere. Because I don't, I mean, I don't know if a strike really hurts Stellantis right now. Uh, they have so much inventory when it comes to Jeeps and the, the Wagoneers and Hornets. and the, I mean, they are, they are glutton full of, of uh, inventory. None of the dealerships are hurting for inventory. None. None of them at all. So what's interesting about that is if they did strike, and let's say it's a month, right? Does that really affect Stellantis? No saves them money <laughs> like they they literally start saving money on labor 
and then they just sell the other stuff that they have. They'll get rid of incentives and stuff and just sell vehicles like they normally would. And they got enough to probably last a good four to six months. How long would Stellantis be willing? I mean, how long would the UAW be willing to strike against Stellantis? That's the problem with there being this much inventory out there. But I digress. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about this breaking news. Do you think they're going to strike? Because uh, I don't know. Fane is unpredictable to me, and I think he's going to do whatever is maybe not in the best interest of the UAW, but what's ever in the best in, best interest of him for his political expediency to get what he wants. Just my outsider's point of view. Anyways, give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and as always... Stay petty, my friends.